Welcome to Deep Thought. Thoughts about the Superman, part three. You know what? Now, I talked about that basic thing, right? That basic thing of, uh, you know, what people realistically consider uh, Superman, right? Right? Um, You know, the physical, being physically better or being more physically attractive and being highly intelligent. And everything. And that's the general thing. You know, whether it's through eugenics or just a good combination of genes or something. And, you know, of course, we got, I mean, I expect an IQ argument, um, big argument. We get them every few years, so we, we about due for one, right? But, you know what? That's not about being, that's not what it takes, because if you look at the physical and even the intellect, that's a purely Western thing, you know, because you can, well, supposedly measure intellect. You know, in my personal viewpoint, you can only measure certain things, but you can't measure your reaction, right, to other things. I'm going to get into that. And the physicality is like, okay, you can bench press 400 pounds. Okay, that's good for you. Are you working? Do you got a job? And attractiveness is... Subjective. I know a lot of people want to say objective, but it's subjective because what you know, like for a man, one woman can look like a ten to him, but the other man is like, oh, she ugly. Just like you get some men, they like those curvy women, and they be like, yeah, those are dimes. And another man like those slim women, or like women who like, uh, you know, they are like a stocky, muscular dude, but then someone else are like a slim dude. You know, so that's subjective. So is that a Superman? No, you know, or somebody might consider it. But to me, that person is that person who has emotionally risen to another level to be a superior man, you know. And, you know, it could also include women who's risen spiritually above whatever, wherever they were at, Indeed, in many traditions around the world, there were generally three levels of humanity, you know, in uh, Taoism, you know, there was, or Confucianism, um, I forgot which system that was, they, they, it's a general Asian thing, right? It's amazing, I do stuff, can talk about it all the time, and then it's like when I get down to it and I'm just flowing in a conversation, I'm like, well, wait a minute, who actually came up with that? But here's the general thing, it was the sage the superior man, and then the masses. Now, how does a man become, or a woman, become superior? It's not because they are physically stronger. Many in the uh, masses, or some, you know, they might call the inferior man, are physically strong, got brute strength. And then many also have uh, a high intellect. But even intellect, though, because you could have a high intellect, but, you know, it doesn't help you get a particular job. Indeed, there are a lot of people with high intellects, and they barely work. I remember a story about a guy with a very high intellect, but he worked as a janitor. Because, you know, you still got to have, you got to be holistic. See, one of the things, we don't measure a person's ability to live life. And one of the keys to living life is to have a will, a strong will, you know. In my view, the Superman, this is my view, and many others share this. Many others share this, and I've learned to adopt it, is that man or woman who has developed their will to live above the average person. And it doesn't have anything to do with intellect. Or physical strength. Those those things help. You know, on my men's channel, I promote hitting the gym. And it's good for health and everything. But that key, do you have that will to rise above your programming at Crossroads events? Can you rise above it? Are you moved by your emotions? See, most people, even men, are moved by their emotion or something. They're not really thinking. You know, they come to a crossroads moment and they just go with the flow, you know? 
and can they rise above it? You know, and especially particularly with men, how many men don't do stuff because they lack discipline? You know, like you could be physically strong and, you know, hit the gym and everything. That shows some discipline. You could also have a high intellect and, you know, maybe that shows some discipline. You you good at what you do. But then when it comes to emotional situations, you know, you might not can handle it. You know, something happened to you or something happened and you lose your mind. You lose your place. The superior man, the superman, in my view, is the one who can handle that because he's not moved by his emotion. He's not moved by, you know, he's not moved like with the uh, herd, the crowd. At moments, if every if he's in a crowd crowd of a thousand people, and they all believe something, and he knows he knows from not just research in his heart from research from whatever that is not correct, he can stand above it and even go against it. I remember a, a very poignant quote that I saw when I was a freshman in college, and the quote was, "If uh, forty thousand million people believe in a lie, it's still a lie." You got to be that person that can see truth. But in order to see it, you got to have the will to rise. Because here's the thing. Most people follow the crowd. That's the thing. Most people follow the crowd. You know, they follow some because somebody else told them. You know, it could be, you know, it could be their family member. It could be an authority figure. They follow it. They don't check it out for themselves. Or they let, they move by stuff. They not calculating, you know. The will it brings you above the masses. Now, if it does bring you above the masses, that don't mean that you take advantage of them or use them. Now, here's an interesting thing. In some traditions, they feel like the evil ones in, in the world are those persons who develop just enough of their will to be above the masses but not quite fully develop their will to become a superior, at that second level, to become that superman or superior man. And they feel like that's where the evil come from. So they just, you know, exploit the people who are lower than them. And I actually agree with that. I actually agree with that if you really look at it, you know. They can't rise to that next level. So the Superman, you know, my view, the Superman is that man or woman. Like I said, it could be a man or woman. I'm just using superior man because that's how it's used uh, in the um, Asian culture for those who still follow that. You know, and it's or or let me use an example for those who might uh, practice the Christian faith. If you look at the Christian religion at the uh, highest level was the sage uh, Yeshua, Jesus. And then um, the next level, the superior men were the disciples. And then it was the masses. And I mean, and it's a deep it's a deep thought about all of that. Right. So, I mean. You know, you have to, you have to be that uh, person who tries to rise above. It has to be within you. Like, you could be a superior man, but, you know, physically you might have average strength and by Western standards, average intellect. But you have that strong will. You not follow, you don't follow the crowd and you don't follow it out of fear or loss of control, but you follow it because of choice. Understand something. The most powerful thing that a human being has is choice. Even in your spiritual traditions, whatever uh, deity that you choose to worship does not interfere with your choice. That's very important. So if you have a, you have the superior man, the superman has the choice. And that choice is informed. He can look at, he takes several factors to make that choice, but he still can do it. He's not following along. That's the person who's rised above. Now, look, here's the thing. If you don't agree with me, that's okay. That is okay. Because the whole purpose of this channel is not to promote a doctrine system. The whole purpose of this channel is to get you to think. That's it. So you might share something or share a perspective, and I'll be like, thank you. Okay. Even if I don't agree with it initially, I would take it into my head. And that's the main thing. But whatever the case, and I will stand strongly behind just the concept, whether you uh, follow the whole superior man or the three levels of humanity thing, I would still say every man and woman should 
work to rise above wherever they were before, evolve. So, something for everyone to think about. Y'all have a peaceful day. Y'all have a great weekend. Peace and blessings.